Hi, it's author Ellie Alexander, and this week on the Tort Test Kitchen, we are gonna go death by chocolate. Nothing but trouble is coming out soon, and I have a devilishly and scary bunt to share with you. Stay tuned. I'm so glad to have you back in my tort test kitchen. I shared a video a while back for Nothing Bunt Trouble on how to elevate a basic white cake mix, and I received so much reader email asking me if I could do the same for chocolate. So you're getting your wish. This week we are gonna dive in to a devil's food cake mix, and we're gonna make an amazing bunt with it. And I'm gonna take it one step further because I discovered the most amazing skull bunt pans from Nordicware. Thanks to my friends, the Bunt Bros. Thanks for this tip, guys. We're gonna bake our devil's food chocolate buns in this pan. You can bake it in whatever pan you have at home, but however you bake it, it's gonna be delectable and deadly and delicious. So let's get baking. pleased with how our devil's food skulls turn out. I can't wait to sink my teeth into one of these beauties. Also, while I was going through the baking, I wanted to share these adorable measuring spoons that a reader shared with me at a book event. I used for this recipe a dash. There's a smidgen, a nip, and a pinch, but I'm going for a dash of both the chili powder that we put in the cake mix 
and the cinnamon. A little bit of those spices goes a long way. They're gonna bring out that delicious, decadent chocolate flavor, but you don't wanna overwhelm your palate with spice. So a dash, just a dash, maybe even just a little pinch of some cinnamon and nutmeg, and bam, we have devil's food skulls. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Tort Test Kitchen. I am so excited about the release of Nothing Bunt Trouble, and there's so much more baking in store. As always, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified whenever I share new videos. Happy baking!